Hello all, uh, welcome back to my channel. Today we shall discuss on the automotive Ethernet. So the introduction to automotive Ethernet. So why did we, why did we move from uh, other protocols to Ethernet protocol and uh, what are the advantages, what are the use cases, all these things. So uh, consider an in-vehicle architecture uh, including uh, almost all different kind of protocols. So we have a uh, you know engine control model which uses CAN protocol we have a inertial motion uh, unit which uses uh, CAN protocol again as well as power steering model which uses CAN and we have some sub modules from a body control like uh, the seat belt unit or window lifter the light control interior exterior uh, which uses LIN protocol but also we have a, a HMI unit which uses Ethernet and also ADAS domain controller which uses Ethernet so these protocol the selection of these protocols is based on the kind of data that is flowing in the uh, the amount of data that is flowing in and um, the speed at which uh, we need to uh, you know uh, receive this data or transmit this data so that uh, the uh, you know the core functionalities uh, should not get affected so here uh, if you see mainly in the hmi and adas we have ethernet that is being used the main reason being uh, the data flow or uh, the uh, the amount of data that is flowing uh, or that we get like from uh, cameras or radars leaders or image sensors so they are huge and uh, and also they need to be uh, uh, they need to be uh, transmitted or received at a higher rate because the applications are such like for example if you take an example of uh, adaptive cruise control for that matter so there we set a specific speed at which we want our vehicle to move and also uh, the distance uh, like between the, the the distance that needs to be maintained between the ego vehicle and the vehicle ahead ego vehicle is our vehicle and uh, the vehicle ahead so uh, say for example um, as soon as we have uh, you know uh, 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 traffic ahead then uh, what what this uh, uh, the uh, adaptive cruise control functionality does is that it, it tries to uh, diesel rate it it's try to it, it tries to break and uh, slow down and uh, as soon as the traffic is cleared it tries to maintain the sa same speed that is being set by the user so for such applications for such applications uh, it's very critical and also life threatening as well so the data needs to be uh, very very much consistent and very much immediate so for such uh, applications uh, or for such huge data uh, huge uh, set of data and uh, high speed data uh, we go for uh, ethernet so this is where ethernet uh, comes in and uh, uh, plays a uh, plays a major role plays a major role yeah so again if you take uh, different other applications like uh, we have you know to our central unit uh, radar being connected or cameras or lidars uh, and also we have v2x vehicle to vehicle communication that has been happening and also the uh, gnss uh, that is uh, our global navigation and satellite uh, system uh, your maps all those things so so when we consider uh, uh, you know uh, this huge set of applications and huge set of data uh, and uh, the processing the pro and processing of this should be done at a, a higher speed and also uh, the transmission and the reception should get uh, should go on at a higher uh, speed so for uh, for these uh, things for these uh, for in these areas ethernet plays a, a major role Ethernet plays a major role and uh, when it comes to the advantages of Ethernet when it comes to the advantages of Ethernet as I already mentioned that is the high speed and also it can transfer a uh, large data like uh, speed like 100 Mbps 1000 uh, 10 Mbps like we have a flexible uh, speeds there uh, 2.55 10 Mbps is also there and also now uh, the 25 Mbps is, uh, is, is been about to be standardized and also it can transfer large uh, data like in one frame like around uh, uh, 46 to 1500 bytes uh, can be transferred and also uh, yeah, a single uh, twisted pair uh, two wire cable so the uh, low weight like because we cannot put huge uh, cables like say for example if we take uh, the uh, consumer automotive uh, like there they have uh, four uh, uh, four or eight wire like four wire twisted pair cable so that um, so much of wire cannot be put it in put in the you know um, our automotive or vehicles so uh, but by this uh, you know single twisted pair uh, two wire cable the weight is also so less 
and also the better startup time uh, that is also one of the advantage yes of course we'll discuss uh, these points uh, one by one and also when you, uh, let's uh, speaking about uh, the use cases the use cases uh, that we have uh, the automotive use cases like for mainly for the diagnostics so um, yeah the ecu programming and uh, infotainment uh, infotainment is not just uh, the navigation and audio but uh, there there are also other applications like uh, we can transfer a video show a video image like a dvd image uh, the rear view camera the surround view etc so we can also stream um, audio inside the car uh, uh, into the car from uh, outside yeah so these are some of the you know uh, uh, applications or use cases from uh, infotainment and also the advanced uh, driver assistance system or uh, autonomous driving like the data coming in or uh, going like from uh, you know the radars leaders camera image sensors etc so uh, now now considering the automotive ethernet automotive um, ethernet the physical layer concerning the physical layer so um, what is this physical layer physical layer make sure that uh, you know it transmits the data over your medium that could be a, a cable uh, uh, fiber optics or could be even radio waves on ethernet we basically have different uh, requirements uh, in the car so it's not the same as uh, your uh, uh, consumer ethernet it's a little uh, it, it it is bit different from that uh, that we have in the you know enterprise um, ethernet yeah or uh, you have uh, you know or we uh, the one that we have in our home uh, for uh, instance uh, for the ethernet, for the ethernet so for example if we uh, you know start a, a gigabit ethernet link at our home it can take up to around you know 3 to uh, you know 1 to 3 seconds until the link is ready to be you know uh, ready for a uh, transmission of data so this is not good in our uh, automotive case or in our car so if you have uh, something inside the car you want uh, that application to be available faster uh, like uh, just as an example if you take like uh, five seconds or three seconds to open the door or start the engine so this is practically not possible so we want to make uh, you know uh, make it faster and a typical uh, use case uh, says that around uh, below 200 millisecond as a startup time uh, that could be a good one so if we also look at uh, the connectors for instance uh, in the enterprise uh, ethernet uh, uh, you know we typically use rj45 connector uh, which has around eight pins uh, so you know four twisted uh, pair uh, of wires in that so those have uh, some problems with respect to automotive uh, like say if, uh, we have our vehicle moving and the pressure or mechanical movement would be an issue and also connector should be stable the connectors that we use in our automotive ethernet should be stable it should be able to withstand the pressure mechanical movement vibrations emi emc etc and also humidity could also be a problem like if the water gets in so uh, there there should be a change in the connectors that we use in the enterprise ethernet to the you know automotive ethernet so that's why uh, you know uh, you know single twisted pair cable is been used uh, uh, which is uh, you know electro uh, magnetic uh, wave uh, compatible as well compatible as well yeah now uh, considering all these things considering all these things like the startup time the emi emc the weight the connectors if we look at these uh, you know use cases that we just uh, discussed uh, yeah um the software update in the car the ecu programming whatever i mentioned uh, we don't have uh, you know uh, we don't have that hard requirements in the car like when it comes to ecu programming because car is not moving um, standing uh, it is standing still in the uh, shop or in the service center so here we could use the regular standard uh, like 100 base tx so it's the same that we use on our notebook or our, on our uh, desktop so no much change with respect to uh, uh, the enterprise ethernet or uh, no change required uh, here but if we consider the autonomous uh, driving or advanced driver assistance system here the technology has to work like uh, when the when the car is moving yes when the car is moving so uh, here we have to fulfill all the requirements that we dis just discussed like the startup time of the uh, you know uh, ethernet link or emi emc or the weight the connector uh, connectors and so on 
so uh, what happens here is that uh, the special physical layer trans uh, transceivers has to be connected yeah so uh, the physical layer has to be created so it's uh, it's all uh, now uh, in the current market we already have 100 base uh, 10 base 1000 base 2.5 uh, or 5 or 10 uh, gigabits uh, already available so which can be uh, made use in our applications yeah and also uh, one thing is that uh, we don't use automotive ethernet uh, just for uh, physical layer uh, the the terminology automotive ethernet just for our uh, not just for our physical layer but everything on top of that like if you uh, run uh, on top of that the uh, top of the mac layer uh, um, you know uh, mac layer with vlan or uh, you run your uh, yeah precision timing protocol for uh, time synchronization or if you run the qs mechanisms like uh, uh, shaping uh, prioritization policing uh, the time sensitive networking part uh, um, yeah also you can run the tcp ip stack on top of that or udp ip stack on, uh, on top of that also you can uh, run the audio video uh, bridging on top of that like avb uh, as well as the the sum ip yeah the middleweight for uh, control messages of course uh, the doip diagnostic uh, over internet protocol uh, to uh, uh, do the flash update or uh, ecu programming so this was uh, all about uh, regarding the you know introduction or uh, you know basics of uh, automotive ethernet thanks for watching the video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up